In this presentation, we will convert ABCD parameters to Z parameters and Z parameters to ABCD parameters. And we will first perform the conversion of ABCD parameters to Z parameters. And uh, therefore, I have taken the set of equations we have in case of ABCD parameters. And uh, let's say this equation here is our first equation. And this equation here is our second equation and I've also taken the set of equations we have in case of Z parameters let's say this equation is our third equation and this equation here is our fourth equation and uh, here we are trying to have all the four Z parameters in terms of four ABCD parameters and therefore, we will try to have the forms of equations we are having in third and fourth equations using equation number one and equation number two. And uh, this is something we have already done a lot of times. And therefore, it won't be difficult to have these two forms of equations using first and second equations. When you compare equation number two with equation number four you will find we have the same set of variables here in this case we have v2 i1 and i2 as the three variables and here in this case we have v2 i1 and i2 so we have the same set of variables in both the equations therefore it is very easy to have this form of equation using equation number two and uh, the first thing we will do is to isolate CV2 because here we have V2 isolated. So we will isolate CV2 and we can do this by adding DI2 on both the sides. So let us add DI2 on both the sides and we will have current I1 plus DI2 equal to CV2. Now you can see that V2 is not having any coefficient but here we have C multiplied to V2. So to get rid of C we will divide both the sides by C and this will give us voltage V2 equal to 1 over C current I1 plus D over C current I2. And this equation is having the same form as in equation number 4. Let's say this is the fifth equation. Now compare equation number 1 with the third equation. You will find here we have V1, I1 and I2 as the three variables. And here we have V1, V2 and I2. So in place of V2, we want I1. Therefore, we will replace V2 by this here in equation number one so let us put v2 from equation number five in equation number one and this will give us voltage v1 equal to a multiplied to one over c i1 plus d over c i2 then we have minus b i2 minus b i2 now let us open this bracket we will have v1 equal to a over c multiplied to current i1 plus ad over c multiplied to current i2 minus b multiplied to current i2 and we can see that current i2 is common in the last two terms therefore we will have voltage v1 equal to a over c i1 plus inside the bracket ad over c minus b multiplied to current i2 and when you focus on the content we are having in the bracket it is ad over c minus b and we can write ad over c minus b equal to ad minus bc divided by c and ad minus bc is the determinant of transmission parameters matrix so we have determinant of t matrix divided by c so we can replace the content inside the bracket by this 
and therefore we finally have voltage V1 equal to A divided by C multiplied to I1 plus determinant of T matrix divided by C multiplied to current I2 let's say this is equation number 6 and now when you compare equation number 3 with equation number 6 you will find parameter Z11 is equal to A over C so parameter Z11 is equal to parameter A divided by C and parameter Z12 will be equal to the determinant divided by C parameter Z12 is equal to the determinant of transmission parameters matrix divided by C now compare equation number 4 with equation number 5 you will find parameter Z21 is equal to 1 over C parameter Z21 is equal to 1 over C and parameter Z22 is equal to D over C parameter Z22 is equal to D over C so in this way you can have the conversion of ABCD parameters to Z parameters and these set of conversions are important to find out the conditions for symmetry and reciprocity now if you want to convert Z parameters to ABCD parameters then try to have the forms of equations we are having in first and second equations using equation number 3 and equation number 4 you will find parameter A is equal to Z11 divided by parameter Z21 parameter B is equal to the determinant of impedance matrix divided by Z21 parameter C is equal to 1 divided by parameter Z to 1 and the last parameter parameter D is equal to Z to 2 divided by Z to 1 and these conversions may help you while solving the questions